Hello everyone, Curtis here again with my second tutorial. Um, today I'm going to be, uh, sorry. Um, today we're going to be showing you how to, well I'm going to be showing you, how to make your own Minecraft server. And don't freak out because it really, it's not as hard as you think. Um, but before we begin, I want to show you what I'm running and what I think you should be running in order for this to work properly. So, 2.4 gigahertz Intel Core 2 Duo processor. You need an Intel processor at least, and at least two gigabytes of RAM should do the trick. Um, so that's what I'm running. So first thing, first let's let's just jump right into this, okay? So here we are at sorry, we're at Minecraft.net. Underneath the Buy Now, we're gonna go to Download. I'm going to scroll down to Minecraft server.jar. I'm going to save it. Show in Finder. Drag it to your desktop. Minimize this for a sec. Sorry. Let's create a new folder. Um, and you need to create a new folder, otherwise, there's going to be a whole mess of stuff on your desktop once you start activating the stuff. So, um, we're going to call this serve. As you can see over here, I have a server already, but I don't want to get that mixed up with this. So, we're going to drag that in here. Okay, so now we're going to go to terminal. Uh, Windows users, I think you have terminal, something like that. So, here, you're going to type in cd space squiggle. That's the button in between escape and tab. Shift that button. Uh, slash desktop slash serve or the name of this folder hit enter and you should get the name of the folder right there now we're gonna go back to that minecraft page you see this little java blah 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 this code copy that minimize paste it okay then press enter and all this stuff will come up now you wait for it to go and right now it's just basically creating your world um, and yeah this should this shouldn't take that long um, but what it's gonna do in this folder it's gonna add all this stuff so there's all this stuff data players and all that stuff so, what we want to do is we want to open up server properties. This should open up a text edit. If, you don't, if it says choose application, choose text edit. Okay, so what I recommend, and it's kind of cool that you have the power to do this. Um, so this is everything that you can choose. Um, what we're going to be doing is, um, what I recommend actually, is the next to online mode. I don't know if you can see that, so... Um, online mode, um, change that to false. Don't have to be capital, false. So what online mode false means is that people with, um, without Minecraft accounts, like premium accounts, can join. So you can just create an account without having to pay and just join, which is really nice. So I have a bunch of friends that like to play with me that don't even have Minecraft accounts and they just like to play. Um, max players, I recommend 5 or something smaller than 20 because it's going to get laggy. So I'm going to put 5. Server IP, keep that. Just keep that where it is and um, just, just don't change it. So you're going to save it. I hit Command S. I'm going to close this. So now this is done. So all this. Let me just show you guys what we did. So slash desktop slash a squiggle slash desktop slash serve. That's the name of our folder. And then we copied um, the thing from the site. This. And 
yeah, we're you think you're all set to go, but no, we're not. So what we're gonna need is log me in Hamachi. Um there should be a log me in Hamachi. Yeah. For Mac. So that's this. You get the download. So I already downloaded it. So I'm gonna you download that, you kinda need that. And here's just a note, everyone that's going to be playing on your server needs Hamachi. So, I'm going to go here, Hamachi, here it is. So here I have a um, an IP here, and what you're going to do go back to serve go back to that properties and you type in this IP that you see here and once you do that you're gonna save it I'm gonna, gonna do that because it's gonna mess with my other server once you do that um, you go into minecraft and you basically type in the server uh, in the multiplayer thing you type you type in your IP and you have to click this button you have to make sure you're online see now I'm online so yeah that's basically how you do it um, I'm gonna close this I'm gonna delete this and I'm gonna show you my server that I already have see I did the same exact thing And I'm going to go find Minecraft. See, it's the Minecraft SP. So I don't need any, any premium account. Here I typed in the IP, the same IP that I typed in over here. And I'm going to connect. Fail to connect. Amazing. Ah, important tip. You gotta be running <laughs> terminal at the same time. Wow, fail. Good job, Curtis. CD. Now to run it, to just run it. Uh, it say you exit it out, just run it. Slash desktop. Slash server. This is, gonna, again, give you the name of this folder here. I recommend one word. Uh, click enter. What? Oh, because I put a space there. Okay, so CD. Oh, whoops. CD, then colon, then space, then colon, whatever it is, slash desktop slash server enter there we go then you're gonna paste that thing that you had on the website again it's um, the at the minecraft I'm not gonna show you whatever it's at the minecraft bottom of the thing the press enter oops press enter and I'll log in and there you go it's running minimize now we can connect. See, this is my world that I'm in. Um, me and my friends have been doing this for a while. Not for a while, we just started this today. So, yeah. Oh! Yeah, world holes occasionally happen. But, you know, it's fine. So, yeah. Thank you guys for watching, and, uh, Please rate, comment, and subscribe. And uh, if you want more, or a more detailed one, um, just let me know. Thanks, and I'll see you guys later.